Alright, so this is part two of the video. And, uh, so in between part one and part two, I looked up the all of the Warlock changes for patch 4.1. And I found a few things, not all of them benefit Affliction, but one in particular change is that Haunt's base damage has been increased by, uh, 30%. And that's not the biggest change. That's not that's not going to be noticed too much, considering you can only cast Haunt every eight seconds, and it's not a huge damage dealer as it is. Obviously, Haunt's main benefit is the 20% more dot damage, but uh, that's going to be really big, I think, because it's just it's just going to be a bit above the Warlock damage in general, and it should help in settings like Arena. Maybe it won't be as noticeable in uh, Battlegrounds, but. Yeah, I think when you're always ha when you in arenas you'd have haunt on as many people as possible, well, both three, five, whatever, and so I think it's gonna be a lot better then. Uh, one change that affects battlegrounds is that the doom guard, which is the other ten minute pet demon you can summon besides the infernal, that pet is going its damage is going to be buffed by fifty percent in four point one. And that's a lot of damage increase. And the, uh, the reason they're doing this actually is because they want the Doom Guard to always be used in 1v1 situations or just like single target damage. Uh, so that's why they're doing that. And basically, what that means for PvP is that in a battleground, if say two people are fighting you, maybe, or just like, uh, just like one person's kicking your ass and you wanna and you need something to catch up and maybe kill him or maybe and you really don't want to die well that's when you would bring in your doom guard who would do the, who does the best single target damage and he would really improve your chances of uh, winning the fight so that's one of the reasons why I think uh, that's gonna be good in PvP uh, also the rest of the changes don't really affect affliction much uh, if you talent into the t if you if you're in affliction and you go into the talent mana feed in demonology, you'll be getting four times as much mana if you use a fell hunter and a doom guard. I think. Uh, yeah. So when you have mana feed, you'll get four times as much mana. And that's gonna be that's pretty useful actually because that means you're gonna be running out of mana a lot less. But running out of mana has never really been affliction's problem because. Uh, maybe because in, because of uh, life tap and you get improved life tap and all our self healing, it's never really been a problem because we can just life tap. But uh, maybe it's harder for demonology and warlocks to pull off life taps. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's going to be implemented. Uh, also, rain of fires damage has been increased by 25%, uh, and one other destruction spell. But to be honest, I just I can't remember. There was a lot of stuff, and I was looking at stuff in my room too, not just my warlock. But, uh, yeah. So in the future, actually, I plan to be putting out Rogue PvP videos, along with, eventually, Shaman PvP videos. Uh, I'm not a master at being a Rogue yet. I just only really started in the Rogue PvP around a month and a half ago, two months ago. But I'm finding, a, I'm having a lot of success in Battlegrounds. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm having a lot of success in Battlegrounds, and I think, uh, a lot of things that I've noticed about Rogues could help people out. And if not, then what? whatever. Uh, alright, so I'm just going to go back to commentating on the game. Basically, uh, what's happened since I've started is just the horde keep coming, trying to get to me, but really, none of them have realized that I, I'm on the roof and that they need someone to wait there to kill me. I, I don't know. Uh, it's not the, it's, see, this is the thing, this is what I was talking about earlier, how a pickup group can't really get this coordination together rather easily. Like, Sometimes I've noticed actually that the people who do usually end up planning and killing me, having one person on the roof and uh, having other people chase me. I've actually checked sometimes and seen that they're from the same realm, and so maybe they joined the battleground together, but maybe it's just random coincidence. But yeah, so it's really hard to get the coordination to uh, pull that pull that off. So now I'm just waiting on the roof because. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they're ever gonna come up here. Oh wait, none of this main jumps. But just one person really. That's not really anything, especially when I have a constant healer. Like I know I'm taking 100% more damage, but uh, yeah, it's not good. The mage isn't gonna kill me. All right, now this is where I make my biggest mistake. Uh, I kind of really messed up here. I feel really bad about it, but whatever. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna edit out my mistakes and. 
it, I was just focused on the mage who I thought was going to try and kill me, and I didn't see that we actually returned the enemy flag, and that's really bad. I'm not really usually the flag carrier, I just wanted to be the flag carrier for the purpose of this video, uh, so I'm not really used to keep, uh, keeping track of that. So, uh, yeah, so I'm feeling really bad about it, but now I know that the enemy flag carrier might not be the, uh, the best suited flag carrier, because he might not be a uh, DPS class with a lot of uh, ways of getting out of CC and he's taking 100% more damage so I don't know I, f I have a feeling we can get back the flag but there's only five minutes left at this point and I'm feeling really bad about my mistake because uh, that might have just cost us the game so whatever all I can do really is stay alive and yeah that I, uh, that really sucked what happened but whatever uh, and then I actually kind of lied to the Battleground chat, I said that the Paladin Hammer of Justice me, and that's why I couldn't uh, return the flag. And I guess they bought that because I just don't want people yelling at me for messing up. So yeah, I'm just waiting for the chance, and if I, now I'm paying as close attention as possible to the uh, cap board. Because if, if we get the flag back for even a second, I'm going to cap it. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just looking on the map and I'm seeing that everybody is in the middle. And I, I don't know, it's just... That's kind of a big mistake too, specifically because their flag carrier is in the, their main room of the alliance of the horde keep, and but they're all in the middle, and we only have four minutes left by this point. Okay, so at this point they drop the flag, and I jump right back down, and then uh, but then they pick it up again.